Hello and welcome to the GBHL podcast. You're here with your host GBHL Jamie, and I am building an a, a Gondor army. So some of these guys you've seen before in Middle Earth World Cup and Deadliest Warband. That's these guys at the end here. They're going to get a touch-up paint job done, and these guys are all going to get painted. Uh, this is because I managed to get all of these out on eBay for £17, which I was pretty chuffed at, um, which basically has kick-started this uh, faction to being created and painted up by myself. And I'm also using these to go up against the Corsairs over there. Now, I'm waiting to buy some more Corsairs, so I thought in, in the meantime I can get these started and start painting these up. We can see if I finish them by the time it's Nova. That's, that's, that, that's, that's terrible English. I'll see if I can get these finished before Nova starts. Well, get a cut and come back sometime later tonight or in the week. Hello guys and welcome to day two of my Minas Tirith hobby vlog. As you can hopefully see, the lighting is not too great in here at the moment. But I have base coated all the warriors in lead belcher. I managed to pick up this today and it has made the base coat job very very simple. As many of you probably know, these guys are mostly armour, so it saves a good part of the job. And what I'm going to do next up is ink them all with null oil and then highlight the uh, armour and then start picking out areas of cloth and skin. So we'll come back after I have inked all of these guys. Oh, before we do that actually, you see I have also sprayed Berrigond, uh, he's getting a repaint and my drills remain black because he's got very little armour on him so it seems pointless to, you can't actually see anything of him there, um, actually spray him silver because it'd be a waste of, well, time for me. I must keep him black and paint him up in Ithilien base colours. So we'll come back when these guys have been inked. Right, so I am back after a uh, I think the last clip was showing all these guys being inked and I have fully painted the 10 sword and shieldsmen so I redid their shields with um, scale 75 heavy metal which is a little bit lighter than the uh, lead belcher and I painted their sort of tunics with thar brown and Dubai Brown with a heavy Lamian medium in there to make sort of an ink and then went over it again with some more Thar Brown to highlight the areas and then did all the belts with Doomble Brown I did the skin with uh, basic flesh from scale 75 and from Citadel the Reichland flesh shade and then highlight it again with basic flesh but you can't really tell too much because there's very little flesh areas and then did the base with sterling mud let it dry overnight and then put on an ard coat so um, the gloss varnish to give it that shine that you can see there and that's those 10 done nice and easy um, they look alright they're not fantastically painted but they are they're done and available for use in bat reps and future tournaments so that's those 10 done next up we're going to the 10 spearmen and then finally the 10 bowmen and I shall see you in the next clip when they're all done so we're back for the hobby vlog here and these guys are near, near enough done now they just need to have the um, the odd coat put on their bases to give them the muddy, muddy shine now I've painted just over about 20 models in the past couple of days so I'm giving myself a break and I'm getting some foreground terrain done and the piece I'm building is Halgar's Blacksmith this is going to be I assume the interior bit then attached to it here I expect we'll get the, uh, the outdoor bit the furnace off here and then build up as well quite cool and so the hobby vlog will now evolve into including this as well I've got 10 more Minas Tirith Bowmen to paint up to finish off the Minas Tirith Force as well as the heroes. We'll see how far I get by the end of Sunday. And then you'll see this hobby vlog on the Monday. So, see you when more of this is done. Because that's what I'm concentrating on currently. 
and we're back a little later into the evening and into the build and I finished the, the downstairs I'm not sure how good the lighting is currently um, as you can see the, the bulbs have gone from my lamp so I've only got my little desk light and the natural light which isn't great for this kind of videoing but hopefully you can see here that the uh, ground floor is done I have only super glued myself together uh, about five times uh, one time glued my mouth shut which was, was painful um, so <laughs> it's just getting everywhere stupid paint paint glue yeah. Um, yeah so we'll continue the build and we'll come back later on and there we have it folks it's Halgar's blacksmith it's been a Quite easy to build. I didn't think it'd be as simple as it was. Um, one handed, this is quite tough. You can see inside there, you see standard sort of foregroundy stuff. This comes off as well. This piece has a massive chimney attached to it. And then inside there, we've got coal which goes into the furnace. And what I saw the foreground guys, I got this piece at Gen Con. And what I saw they did, which is what I'm going to steal the idea for for future battle reports, is to um, get tea lights and the um, right wargaming terrain did it with our uh, hobbit hole. Uh, put tea lights and put them in, and so they flicker a little bit, and it looks as if there's people moving and stuff going on inside the building. So that's done. Got <laughs> a project out the way, so pretty happy about that. And next up. Got those guys in the background there, the um, Bowman from Minas Tirith to do next. So hopefully we'll see them painted by the end of the day. Well, tomorrow. It's pretty late now. Right, shall see you tomorrow, guys. And welcome back to the hobby vlog. And the Minas Tirith archers are complete. As are the swordsmen and the spearmen and the fountain court have been rebased. So just the heroes left to go. And then I have completed the Minas Tirith Force. Got these guys done, well I started on Wednesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Five days to do 30 guys, six a day. I'm pretty happy with that. And then rebasing all these as well. And building the uh, blacksmith. So, a productive hobby vlog. As ever guys, be sure to comment, like, share and subscribe. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Support the hosts in the links below. Support your Hobbit hobby and happy strategy battle gaming everyone.